I always feel like the lighting for my videos is always so atrocious. Actually, this is pretty decent. Hi! Hey guys! Hey besties! Welcome back to another video! So, this is when the video gets chaotic, um, because I'm not really planning it out, and my book videos are just chaotic and not organized, and it's out of my comfort zone, but that's a good thing, you know? Anywho, I'm gonna stop rambling, let's get into the books. So I have a few books picked out. Um, I don't know, I'm not gonna read all of these, but these are just like, this is my selection that I can choose from while I go through this video. So we have Beach Read by Emily Henry, and then we have It Happened One Summer by Tessa Bailey, and then I have Archer's Voice by Mia Sheridan, and then I have Funny You Should Ask. Look how cute this cover is. Look at it. That being said, I think the first book I'm gonna start out with is Funny You Should Ask because I'm obsessed with the color, the vibes, and it's like really short. So it'll be a good one to read. Knock it out of the park. So I'm coming up on like the halfway point of this book. So far I'm really liking it. It's really cute. I did um, go book shopping today. Um, I vlogged my day. It's up on my channel if you want to go watch. But I got some new books and I know I want to read one of those um, next so it'll probably just be in this video. Okay, hi guys. So I finished uh, Funny You Should Ask. I think it took me a total of like four days to read this book. Four or five. Um, it was pretty good. Um, it didn't really start getting interesting, interesting until the last little bit, which is kind of annoying because I love when books get more exciting like earlier on. Like stuff that was happening at the end should have happened at like the halfway point or three-fourths point. Um, but it was still cute. I gave it, uh, three out of five stars. Okay, so I did start, um, the second book. It's Better Than the Movies by Lynn Painter. Um, I got this book the other day, earlier this week when I went to Barnes & Noble. Um, so far it's really cute. I'm only on chapter two. Um, my friend recommended this book to me, so I'm super excited to read it. Okay, hi besties. So, I don't know the last time we talked, but a reading update. So I finished Better Than the Movies by Lynn Painter, and let me tell you guys, this book, so good. It took me a few days to like, get into it, but really I was just like really busy with like homework and a bunch of other stuff, but I really enjoyed it. It really started to pick up and like five out of five like this book like it just like hit all the right points it needed to hit and I don't normally read YA because I feel weird reading books about like high school aged people but this was like such a cute read and it was like so soft and like so pure art and I loved it I'm debating between reading Beach Read or from Luke Hop with Love. I know I want to read both of them. It's just a matter of like which one do I want to read right now. Okay, besties. So, update. So, I'm deciding to read Beach Read. Um, and then I'm going to read from Luke Hop with Love because I really want to annotate from Luke Hop with Love nicely. So, I'm using Beach Read as my rough draft. <laughs> and I put the uh sticky note down because there's like um, a sticker that was on here that like there's sticker residue and I just like want to be smart about this but this is my annotation guide so pink and like a little like red highlighter I use is going to be romance this light blue and teal they're going to be for sad moments orange is for funny 
Uh, green is relatable, and then my two purples are going to be like, oh, I love this. Um, I hope this video is entertaining, because I feel like my videos are hit or miss. But guys, this video is going to have such a cute little thumbnail, and it's going to be uploaded on the morning of Valentine's Day, and I'm so excited. Actually, no. I don't know what it is about this book. I genuinely don't know what it is about this book. I am like this with it. I'm not even at the quarter mark. I'm on chapter four. I can't get I can't get into the book. I'm also not, I think a, maybe a part of the reason why I'm not a big fan of the book is I'm not a beach person. It's still like pretty early on in the night, it's 9 o'clock right now on February 5th. So I'm going to try to finish this book because the goal is to read four books a total in this whole reading vlog, get it done and edit it and up on Valentine's Day. I'm going to go read for a bit but I just figured I would hop in and say that one little thing because like I can't, I can't get into the book maybe it'll change but like I I'm not loving it hello guys I don't know how to work my camera so I figured I would give a little bit of an update it's February 10th right now I'm still reading beach read I'm at the halfway point though I will say I'm at the halfway point that's a victory in itself I will say, because of the love interest, his name is Augustus, but he goes by Gus. And every time I read that, I think of Gus Gus from Cinderella. So my brain is just like... Like, I can't really take this character seriously, because his name is Gus. And Gus to me is a... The name gives me an ick, to be honest. Um, the goal, I'm, my goal is to finish Beach Read today, and I'm debating on what I, I want to try to fit in one more book. Um, I don't think I'm going to do From Luke Up With Love just yet, because I don't want to feel rushed to read that book. I want to take my time with that book. So maybe I'll read one of my shorter, um, rom-com books. I feel like this video sucks. I feel like this video is boring, and... Not interesting, but I'm still going to upload it because, I don't know, I know people like to watch book videos, so I hope this is a nice book video. Guys, am I recording? I am recording. So, so I don't know if you can see me right now, but I'm putting fake nails on, and I haven't had fake nails on in years because, um... I was an avid horseback rider and I have to document this for this video because it's a my it's a it's a milestone. So we have one nail left. This has been a struggle, dude. I don't even know if I'm in focus because I can't see myself at all. I tried to flip the little monitor my camera has and I can't see myself so like I don't even know if I'm I think I'm in frame do you guys want ASMR where's my mic little thing on here I don't have a mic plugged in I'm gonna go like hey guys hey guys hey guys hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel um today we're going to do um ASMR Anywho, an update on Beach Read. I'm almost done with it. I'm almost done with Beach Read. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do one more book for this video. Wait, they sued me. Guys. Wait, these nails look... I look so good right now. 
Anywho, this, what was I saying? Let me get up in personal. So here's the deal. I've seen two engagement posts from people I went to high school with. Like, they got engaged today. And I'm like, yo, congrats. But also, I'm painfully single. And, you know, seeing that made me hate being single. So my mood is off thrown. And I'm a mood reader. And for a romance reading vlog, guys, I kind of can't do it. I don't know if I can do another book. It's just going to make me sad. I'm obsessed with these nails. Anyways, I'm going to go finish Beach Read. I'll get back to you when I finish Beach Read. Okay, so I finished. Okay. Hello. Good morning. It's Sunday, February 12th, I think. 11th or 12th. One of the days. So I just finished Beach Read last night. Um... Why did it actually get, like, good at the end? Riddle me that. Riddle me that. Anywho, let's do the wrap-up of the books I read for this video and call it a day because I want to get this edited. Can you tell? I really like my nails. I'm never doing that again. Gross. Okay, hey besties, so we read three books. Now, as someone who also goes to college full time and has a job, this is, this is a successful for me, okay? Because the past few weeks I've been doing this has been kind of a lot. So starting off with Funny You Should Ask, um, I gave this book 3 out of 5. It was really cute, it had its cute moments, but it, there were things that were happening that should have happened sooner for these characters, because I just didn't really feel like it was missing a lot of stuff. Yeah, okay, it was cute, I'd recommend this. Um, I wish the love confession didn't happen all the way at the end, I felt like the book needed to continue on a little bit more to get a little more feel of closure. Um, and there were things that happened like too, it felt like things happened too soon or too late. And like the pacing was a little felt like off with this book. But for the most part, it was really cute. It was a good time. And the cover, the cover is so pretty. And then I did Better Than the Movies by Lynn Painter. I gave this a five out of five on my Goodreads. It was so good. I ate this up. I ate this book up so much. It was really cute. It definitely like spoke to like the hopeless romantic in me. And like this book was mind altering in like the best way possible. Cause after reading this book, I was like, I literally went and deleted my dating apps because I was like, I can't do this anymore. I want to meet someone organically and not through an app. So thank you, this book, for for showing me that. Um, you guys have to read this book. It's YA, so it's set in high school. But it's so cute. You have to read this book. If anything, if you take away anything from this video, you have to read this book. Okay, and finally, Beach Read by Emily Henry. I... I'm gonna settle on giving Beach Read four out of five stars just because I know what I would rate a three star book and this book was like a little bit better than that so I would feel bad giving it three stars so I'm gonna give it four I feel like it's definitely one of those books where like I read it during the wrong time and I should have just read it maybe like during the summer like Beach Read like during <laughs> not during the school year maybe um one of the things I didn't really like about this book was that the main character's name, his name is Augustus, and they call him Gus. And to me, that's a little bit of an ick, to be honest. And then 
at some point characters were calling him like Gussie and I was like that's gross that is a major major ick but for the most part it was a pretty enjoyable read it was a good time and yeah I'd recommend it I'd say I definitely recommend it okay guys so these were all the books that we read for this video um I definitely recommend all of them like they were really cute they were good reads um but I am gonna end it here and I'm not gonna read another book for the sake of my for the sake of my mental sanity okay I'm gonna go because I have to go edit this video and make sure it's up and ready to go for Valentine's Day for you guys um if you're seeing this on Valentine's Day, which you definitely are. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Love Day. I'm gonna go. I feel really awkward right now. So I'm, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna exit. I'm gonna leave. Okay, thank you for watching. <laughs> I'll see you all uh, in the next video, which hopefully should be coming soon. Maybe. We'll see. I'm kind of doing pretty good on the content for this channel, so... Okay. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. All right. Bye.